All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, quoting strings with single quotes. We got a lot of reading to do. All right. So let's start off by saying string values in JavaScript may be written with single or double quotes as long as we start and end with the same type of quote. Unlike some other programming languages, which we don't even know, other than HTML and uh, CSS, single and double quotes work the same in JavaScript, all right? So here's a constant double quote string, and this is a string. You can see the uh, double quotes here. And then also we've got const single quote string. This is also a string, we're using single quotes here. I, always, I almost always use single quotes just because I don't have to hit the shift key. All right, so the reason why we might want to use one type of quote over the other is if we want to use both in a string. Yes, this might, that's another reason why I use it because it always has uh, double quotes available if I need to use them in the string. Anyway, this might happen if we want to save a conversation in a string and have the conversation in quotes. I don't know what that means. Uh, another use for it would be saving an anchor tag with various attributes in quotes all within a string, okay? Uh, so const conversation, Finn exclaims to Jake, quote, algebraic, all right. However, this becomes a problem if we need to use the outermost quotes within it, yes. Uh, remember the string has the same kind of quote at the beginning and end, but if we have that same quote elsewhere, pardon me, somewhere in the middle, the string will stop early and throw an error. So here's a good string, Jake asks Finn, hey, let's, and then the apostrophe has the escape character in front of the apostrophe, and then uh, go on an adventure question mark. I don't know if there's a question. And then has the uh, uh, double quotes right here, right? And then on this one, a bad string, Finn responds, let's go. There's no space. There's no uh, escape character right here. And so the rest of this is looking kind of funky, right? So here, bad string will throw an error. Uh, in the good string above, we can use quotes safely by using the backslash as an escape character. Note, the backslash should not be confused with the forward slash, okay? Uh, they do not do the same thing, gotcha. All right, so now we're gonna change the provided strings to a string with single quotes at the beginning and end and no escape characters, okay. Uh, right now, the anchor tag in the string uses double quotes everywhere, and we're gonna need to change the outer quotes to a to single quotes so we can remove the escape characters. All right, so first things first, let's change, change the outer quotes. Uh, thusly, there's one, there's two. And then we're just gonna get all these escape characters out of here. So here's one right here, here's two right here, three right here, and the fourth one right there, all right? So now let's run the test, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to escape sequences in strings and We'll see you next time.